Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today I'm with Captain Rob Lowe from Cape Cod Offshore Charters here in Buzzards Bay this afternoon, trying to target some sea bass on our hoagie jig beaky rigs. Captain Rob, what's the playbook for today? Well, we're jigging some rocky bottom. It's pretty simple. That's some of the best things about sea bass fishing is you don't have to get too complicated. We're making short, quick drifts over rocky ledges here in Buzzards Bay. And we're basically targeting structure. And we're gonna hit that structure over and over again until we figure out if there's fish or not, and then move around. So quick gifs, uh, it's, it's bumpy, and we're gonna get them. So you can fish these jigs fast or slow. There's no wrong way to fish them. I have a flutter pitch jig on, which means I'm gonna fish it slow. But if I had a sand eel jig or something else, rigged on this, I might fish it a little faster. I'm just raising my tip and dropping it. Now one little trick I like to do is just dead stick this because the teasers are so light just with the movement of the boat they're just going to dance and dart and do their own thing and almost fish these things like bait. In fact you can even use this as a bait rig. You know, so the idea being if they steal your bait you're still in the game with the teaser. Just simple up and down. Let those teasers work. Every once in a while, try a dead stick. I'm getting hits from little fish. I got him. So both fish have come in on the bottom teaser, which is interesting to me because a lot of times when I fish, they favor one over the other, and I don't always understand why. Um, but this is a decent sea bass. I don't think he's quite legal, so we're going to let this one go and try to see if we can get a big honker. All right, guys, why don't you bring him up? We're going to bring us back around. We're going to do this drift one more time, and then uh, we're going to move to a second spot here. Probably going to be a little bit calmer in there also, but I think we'll have some good sea bass in there. So uh, we got some good bottom here. We're just getting up to the top of our drift right now. So Mike, why don't you go and drop the jigs? We already got some good bottom. This is probably a rock right here. You can see as we came over it, trying to get up here, we've got rocks here. We're marking fish. There's some bait over here and maybe some more fish here. So good spot to start. Uh, you got to trust your equipment out here and you're really looking for the best bottom to fish in a short amount of time. Hey folks, Captain Mike here. I'd like to introduce our new Jig Beaky rigs. The reason why they're called Jig Beaky rigs is they have a very similar feature to a bait size Sabiki rig with the teasers and the back flash on the hook. But they're rigged with, depending on the rig size, uh, anywhere between 30 and 60 pound test premium mono. They're designed to serve as teasers for larger bottom fish such as sea bass, large porgies, fluke, snapper, even cod. And uh, so the beauty of this rig is it's, it's turnkey, ready to go, and it's designed to interface with any jig. Uh, what's interesting about this rig is the teasers are designed to match the uh, sabiki style assist hooks we're putting on our, um, our jigs these days. So there's continuity between the teasers above the jig and with the assist hook that's coming on a lot of our jigs today. That's what we're looking for. And we're in about 20 feet of water, so he's gonna... Uh... Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're looking for. Big blueback sea bass. Came in on the bottom teaser again. See, he's right in the corner of the mouth. This hook just penetrates right into the cartilage. And that is the name of the game right there. Beautiful fish. Right in the corner. Everything just the way it was supposed to work, just like that. Now this guy's gonna make great dinner, put him in the live well and get right back at it. As we're wrapping up here, just want to show you one handy little feature of a rig like this. 
Um, you know, if the teasers are spaced properly, like the jig keys are, one simple way to keep the hooks from flailing about is just hook the two hooks together, we'll tight crank on the reel, put the, in this case my assist hook on the reel seat. Just a nice portable way so you don't have hooks flying around, no hooks on the ceramic guys, just a nice easy ergonomic way to store your rig.